certainly is an unprecedented moment as former President Donald Trump is officially charged in a hush money case. This is the first time a sitting or former president has faced criminal charges. And we have live team coverage of the former president's indictment from around the state and across the country. And we start with our D.C. Bureau Chief Alex Cameron to walk us through how Oklahoma's congressional delegation is taking the news tonight. Alex. Well, no surprise here, but members of the delegation, those we've heard from anyway, are highly critical of the indictment. But before I get to their reaction, let me just tell you, since I'm here in D.C., I decided to take a walk over to the Capitol tonight to see if this indictment had sparked any protest over there. Well, what I found was things were very quiet. You know, police had put metal barricades out a couple of weeks ago just in case. But you can see that they haven't been interlocked. Sightseers were out enjoying the nice evening, walking around peacefully. And it was pretty much the same situation over at the White House. I went over there, and it's all quiet for now anyway. Now, our delegation, not so quiet. Fourth District Congressman Tom Cole weighed in with this earlier this evening. This is a sad day for America. In my opinion, the indictment of former President Trump is politically motivated, legally dubious, and unlikely to prevail in court. Uh, Senator Mark Wayne Mullins, an outspoken Trump supporter, he's already endorsed Trump for president in 2024, and he said, in part, radical leftists have been going after President Trump since day one. This sham of indictment is no different. Now, Congressman McQueen also put out a statement. He called this a politically motivated witch hunt and a serious abuse of power. Uh, the others are likely to weigh in in the coming days or so, perhaps uh, when Trump is arraigned and the charges are actually made public. Carl, Amanda. Yeah, Alex, and uh, talking with Oklahoma's delegation like you did, did any of them say how this might affect President Trump's uh, presidential campaign in 2024? Well, you know, uh, Congress, uh, Senator Mullen is the only one who's really commented on this. Uh, and what he says is, you know, he, a couple of weeks ago when he hosted Trump at the NCAA wrestling tournament in Tulsa, um, he said, you know, if Trump's indicted, it was going to make him unbeatable. Well, he had said something similar in his, uh, the, the full uh, tweet tonight. He said, this is a witch hunt which will only make President Trump stronger. So we'll have to see if that's actually true. Amanda, Carl. And before we let you leave, Alex, because you have great insight being there in D.C., got to know, what do you think? Do you think this will impact the work being done at the Capitol? Well, Amanda, I think it's actually maybe fortunate that today the House and Senate both adjourned for a two-week uh, break. Um, they're going back to their home districts now uh, until after Easter. And so by the time they come back, maybe this will settle, have settled down a bit. Plus, they have some really important stuff to be working on when they do get back, the debt ceiling and the budget. So, you know, people here who want to talk politics, that's always there, and some will continue to do that. But they have plenty of work to do here, and they know that. Carl, Amanda, back to you. All right, Alex, we appreciate your reporting live tonight in Washington, D.C.